Hi guys, salut tout le monde, it's Maya from Street French. And today we are going to pronounce 20 words around French red wines. So it can be the name of the wine or the cépage, kind of all mixed together. By the way, welcome to all of our new subscribers and all new viewers. It's really nice to see you and it's really nice to see that you enjoy our work. So yeah, anyway, that was just a little... A little thing I wanted to say before starting the video. <laughs> so just a little reminder, I'm French, I was born and raised in Paris, France, and yeah, so the pronunciation here is for how I would say th things and how I heard people say things around my area or in my city, right? So if there's any other French person watching this video, feel free to tell me or to correct me if there's anything I said wrong. But usually I heard most of these words or most of these names said in restaurants by waiters and etc. So it should be fine. Okay, let's start. So you have Beaujolais. Beaujolais. In Paris we get a little bit lazy and the AI sound, which should be E, we sometimes say E. Beaujolais. Beaujolais. Beaujolais but it should be Beaujolais. Can you hear the difference? It's super subtle, Beaujolais. I open my mouth wider, right? Beaujolais. So you have Beaujolais and Beaujolais Nouveau. But again, in Paris, we usually say Beaujolais. Beaujolais and Beaujolais Nouveau. If there's any French person speaking, feel free to tell me in the comments, like, what's the right pronunciation. I hear both in Paris. Then you have Bordeaux. 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 Can you hear the R in the middle? It's really subtle. I don't, like, I don't pronounce it really harshly, in, like in some other words. Here it's subtle. It's just a light R. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Something else that's interesting is the O sound. So in French, AU and EAU is a O sound. O, O. But there is a, a O at the beginning of the word, right? Bordeaux. But the sounds are different. It's not Bordeaux. It's Bordeaux. Bordeaux. O, O. O, O. It's really subtle, <laughs> but it's those little details that will make you sound way more French, I think. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Can you say it right? Bordeaux. Feel free to record yourself and to like listen to yourself and compare with my pronunciation. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Then you have Bourgogne. 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 Again, the R is really subtle, but it needs to be there, it needs to be pronounced. Bourgogne. Bourgogne. It's okay? Okay, next. Next is Bourgueil. Bourgueil. So it's tricky. There's the O sound that's not easy for everyone, then the R, Bourg, and then the E, Gueil. Bourgueil. Bourgueil. Then you have brouille. Brouille. Here the R needs to be a little bit stronger, a little bit harsher. It's kind of hard because you have the R that is here and the Y, the Y that is kind of here. So brouille. Even for me, it's a little bit of a struggle to like pronounce it well. <laughs> but if I was to kind of order in a restaurant and just to speak naturally, like I would just say un bruit, s'il vous plaît, un bruit. Next, you have Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. That's how I hear people say it around me. Maybe in some other regions, do you pronounce it Cabernet Sauvignon? Maybe. But in Paris, I've always heard people say Cabernet Sauvignon. Anyway, for any of you who are learning French, it will be fine and they will understand what you're asking for. It's not such a big difference. Then you have Chinon. 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 It's one of my favorites. I really love this wine. Chinon. Chinon. 
is all the nasal sounds hard for you? So all the mm, uh, uh, <laughs> are they difficult for you to pronounce? Let me know. This is a great word to practice with. She no, she no. Then you have chirouble, chirouble, chirouble. We don't pronounce the s at the end. It's just chirouble. Here the R is a little bit soft again, right? Chirouble. 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 You have côte de bourg. Côte de bourg. Côte de bourg. If you go in the south of France, the word côte is going to be pronounced way differently. I think they would say côte. Côte de bourg. But in Paris we say Côte, co, côte de bourg, côte de bourg. Then you have grave, grave, grave. So we don't pronounce the S. It's grave, grave. Here the R is stronger. Can you do it? G -r, gra, grave, grave. Then there is médoc, médoc, and o médoc. You can find o médoc too. Médoc, médoc. Then you have merlot, merlot, merlot. I think it's pretty popular. I think I've heard in movies people say merlot, right? I think I think you say merlot, which is interesting because. Um, people in English try, or maybe it's in America, I don't know, but um, people try to say it in a French, <laughs> in a French way and say Merlot, but too bad, we say Merlot, <laughs> Merlot, Merlot, but we don't pronounce the T, so they got that right from what I've heard, <laughs> Merlot, Merlot. Then you have Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir. So we don't pronounce the T, Pinot Noir. Next you have Pomar, Pomar. Again, we don't pronounce the last letter. It's not Pomard, it's Pomar, Pomar. Then you have pomerol, pomerol, pomerol. That's how I hear it pronounced in Paris. We say pomerol. But I think in the south of France, they will pronounce all the syllables and say pomerol, pomerol. But I'm not gonna like, I'm not 100% sure. I, I, I think I've heard people from the south say pomerol. But in Paris, we say pomerol. It's just like words like charcuterie. We don't say charcuterie or boulangerie. We don't say boulangerie in Paris at least. That's a, a French rule called la chute du E. If you want to look it up, it's really interesting. Then you have cent et million. Cent et million. Here we do the liaison. Cent et million. Cent Saint-Emilion. Saint-Emilion. Then you have Saumur. 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 It's not an easy syllable to <laughs> pronounce. Mur. Mur is a good word to know also because it means wall. So it's something you might <laughs> need to know. Mur. Saumur. Saumur. You also have sans serre, sans serre, sans serre, sans serre. Sans serre are more known for uh, white wines and kind of sweet white wines. I've never had the red wine from sans serre, so that's interesting. That's interesting to know. Sans serre. Okay, so that's it for this list. It's really interesting to see that. 
I kind of gave you different types of pronunciation because wines come from various regions of France and sometimes two or three different pronunciations are correct. If you're interested to brush up on the basics of French pronunciation, we have an e-course on our website, sweetfrench.org. And in the e-course and e-books tab, we have lots of products, of course, but we have one about French pronunciation. And it's a video course where Charlie and me talk about everything you need to know. And yeah, I think it's really useful. So yeah, feel free to check that out on our website. We're also really present on Instagram if you're using that app. We're always on there posting stories, sharing some cultural things, sharing some French video with subtitles that can be really useful for you to speak French and learn and practice listening, comprehension, all of that. I think I think it's really important to watch um, and to be immersed as much as you can in French, even though you're not in France. And if you want to know more about the project and help us build this, what we've been doing for three years now, we have a Patreon page and it's really cool. Uh, it, it really helps us a lot to pay for a website, to pay for like equipment and help us like keep creating stuff for you guys. So yeah, if you want to support the project, feel free to go over there too. Okay, that's it for <laughs> all of my shameless plugs. We are doing a lot of stuff, but I don't know. We really enjoy working on this project. Thank you to all of our patrons who are already helping us. Thank you to all of you who are watching our videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Salut.